Rose for PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 20th to the 26th of May. So this week we have got the first week of Mars in Cancer that is coupled with Mercury moving into Gemini. So these two things together are making a very great environment for you to learn something about your feelings. So before you go, oh, that sounds like a drudge, that sounds like a really boring week, um, it can actually come across in some quite interesting ways. So Mars in Cancer is all about being motivated to protect your feelings. So think about the crab with its soft underbelly and its hard shell. Uh, this is kind of like a metaphor for Mars in Cancer. It's like, how can you protect yourself? Do you use your claws? Do you use your defense system with your shell? Uh, you know, do you go out of your way to um, avoid certain circumstances that make you feel uncomfortable? Um, you know, how do you respond when somebody hurts your feelings? Uh, in what way do you feel um, like you are getting your needs met so do you go about getting your needs met in a direct way you know do you say this is what i need thank you you know in that kind of way or are you slightly passive aggressive sometimes do you get your needs met in an indirect way um like these are questions to just kind of ask yourself this week because there will be certain circumstances that come up for you to learn these things so for example someone might say something off the cuff that maybe hurts your feelings a little bit uh, you might find that your needs aren't getting met in some relationship you might um start to understand that actually um, you don't feel entirely comfortable in a certain situation. So you can just ask yourself why that is, because with Mercury and Gemini, you've got this um, activated analysis um, uh, gift almost, where you can kind of take a look at what's going on and apply like an ob uh, like obs uh, observe like observation to it. I don't know why I can't say that word. Um, just kind of be more um, objective and observe how you feel rather than kind of getting swept away by feelings and thinking, oh, that person hurt my feelings, you know, and I'm going to just go away in, like into that or uh, feeling like, oh, I don't feel comfortable in this situation and getting stuck in the feelings. Because Mercury in Gemini is uh, very objective and very uh, analytical, you can just take a look at these things and think, okay, why am I behaving like that? Or why do I feel like that? And then that will help you to learn something so that the next time you don't react in the same way. So yeah, that is all for this week. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you next time.